about half filled with God knows what. A few crates of different sizes. Thank God you're here. Len... Len... Slow down, relax. You're safe. <sighs> okay. The big organics processor. I woke up late last night, heard it fire up. I live next door, so I got dressed and walked in here. Leonard wasn't around, so I turned all the machines off. I went to look for him in his living quarters, but he wasn't there. I figured he was still out late with some of the guys and that the machines had sprung to life on their own somehow. I went back to bed and slept through the night. Didn't hear anything else. When I came back this morning to work just half an hour ago, Leonard was still gone. He's usually up and about way before my shift starts. I did a routine check of the organics processor and... and... that's when I noticed his... remains in there. The victim is inside that machine? Yes. Could it have been an accident? I don't know. God, I, I can't get it out of my head. Please, try to calm down. Could it have been an accident? It could, uh, maybe he fell down in the pipe, uh, and, uh, and uh, was torn to shreds. Oh, God, poor Leonard. It's no use. Guess that's the intake for materials to be recycled. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Looks like the human remains are trapped behind the grinding gears. I don't think they can be moved manually. That looks like the ignition mechanism. I can see the yellow cable powering it. That part of the I tried pulling it loose, but it's stuck in there pretty good. Okay, the yellow cable is disconnected now. This says the machine works by grinding. The control panel here can be used to retract the grinding gears and access the chamber, but the system waits for the latest batch to be incinerated first. I think that retracted the grinding gears. There was a small key among the remains. It must have been in the victim's pocket. Ugh, this is quite a mess. I'm not equipped to deal with this. I'll have to ask Dr. Pearson to come here and gather the body parts. Postmortem. This clearly wasn't an accident then. It was a disposal of a murder victim. Hey, Gabriel. Yeah? I've managed to secure the body. You're free to leave and get back to your other duties. The remains are in quite bad shape, so I think it's best if Dr. Pearson collects them. Roger that, ma'am. I think the doctor has some medical emergency this morning, but he should be able to take care of it today or tomorrow. Good. Tell him to bring it all to the morgue. Will do. I'll go find him right away. C can I leave too? I really need to go get a drink. I suppose. I'll call for you if I come up with any more questions.
This thing is used to transport metals to the smelter. This conveyor belt sends metal objects down into the smelter. All right, looks like these are the materials last put into the smelter. Wow, I think I just found the weapon that killed Carl and Maya. Hmm, no DNA or prints. So this knife must have been thoroughly cleaned. Got the knife. The weapon that killed Carl and Maya, likely Leonard too. Leonard's bed. This is probably where Leonard handled all of the paperwork. Mostly history books and some fictional novels. Hi, honey. No, no. Wait, what? It wasn't a dream? I must be going crazy. The blue is messing with my head. Uh, that's one way to say hello. You doing okay there, darling? Not really, Alex. How can I help them? This is weird for me, too. I have no idea. It's so strange seeing you like this. Well, I'm here now. Maybe we should just try to make the best of it. I guess so. Great. So, uh, how are you doing? Really? Oh, you know, keeping it together somehow. I thought taking on this case would give me a chance to get away from everything. I get that. We went through a lot. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, I'll let you get back to the case. Okay. I must be losing my mind. It's the key I found in the recycling center. Likely belonged to Leonard. Hey there. Hi. Whoa, badass co- Oh, thanks. Got it a week ago. Right on. You need to get some patches and stickers and shit for it, too. Give it some personality. I might just do that. So, you're some kind of artist. Yeah? What do you think? It's gotta be ball lightning, right? Ha. <laughs> That's an interesting take. A mural. I'll leave him. Some fairly advanced solar panels. A light beacon. Not, not sure where that door leads. The junk piles extend some half a mile into the empty eastern part of town. I doubt they're being added to, though. Nordson residents seem conscientious about recycling. I don't have a reason to visit the junk heap right now. Not sure what happened here, but it looks like old damage. Somebody swept up the glass on the outside, but didn't bother with actually repairing the windows. I think that leads to a church of some kind. Doesn't look functional. Maybe, maybe later. I don't think I need to look him up. I don't need to. I don't. I, I, as expected. I don't think I. I don't. I don't. Yeah, this just confirms what Anderson told me. 
I don't think... I don't think... I had a few questions. By all means. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? She may also go by the name Melinda. Sorry, I'm bad with names. Did you know Leonard Dahl? Not at all. I learned that Leonard's death wasn't an accident. I suspected as much. Any leads on his killer? Some. I found the weapon that killed Carl and Maya in the recycling center, but it's clean. Hmm. So the murderer must have stashed it there after disposing of Leonard. Probably. It was placed in the metal recycler, so maybe the killer meant for it to get smelted down and destroyed. Sounds like a plausible theory. Are you familiar with the conduit? I believe so, yes. It's some old terrorist network connected to illegal technology, right? Yes, exactly. Wait, don't tell me these murders are terrorist related. I can't say for sure. I'll let you know. That's all I need. Very well. It's a map of Nordsund. Looks like the center of the disk is hollow. Curious. Hi there. I see that there's been some progress with the fallen power line. Yep, feel free to head in now. Great, I'll do that later. This facility has been deemed compliant with the Third Decree, Twelfth Amendment, on November 4th, 79 AR. Path of the Pilgrim. Hmm, kind of an odd name for an exhibition about the collapse. It shows various star constellations. Apparently the ones we plan to explore with some incredible new rocket engine that they were about to finish when the collapse happened. It's hard to think that most people had several of these in their homes once upon a time. The collapse occurred on what we now refer to as Year Zero AR, Anno Reducto, Year of the Collapse. During this time, AI was involved intimately in every part of our lives. The typical family could not be sustained without it for more than a few weeks. A coalition of anti-technology, anti-globalist, and religious movements, referred to as the Human Wave, reached a critical mass due to a series of AI incidents across the globe. A growing fear of the singularity, mainly proposed by Voice for Human Progress, VFHP, was a contributing factor, as were proven hardware faults in widespread robotics across the globe. On June 2nd, the third decree UN resolution was passed, declaring that all AI was scheduled to be discontinued over a course of 10 years. An observant reader may notice that this definition is different from the third decree we live by today, wherein CPUs are completely outlawed. This is because the third decree has been amended 12 times. However, the phasing out period for AI did not proceed as planned, and we now enter an era in which there are large holes in our historical records. But we do know that there was a massive worldwide blackout, rendering most computer chips and processors in the world unusable. Contemporary scholars have theorized about what exactly caused this sudden change. If it was a deliberate large-scale attack, an unintended consequence of the ongoing shutdowns, or if there could be natural causes, such as solar flares. The evidence is scarce, and the lack of global communication and infrastructure, not to mention the struggle for daily survival, has made truth-seeking in this matter extraordinarily difficult. Regardless, the end result was clear. From that day, the old world was no more, in the dark, we took our first stumbling steps as truly free humans, surrounded by our mountains of dead machines. Due to the third decree, AI today is practically non-existent outside sanctioned laboratory conditions. Fringe terrorist groups such as the Conduit and N-Protocol, EP, 
still try to resurrect AI, but have been successfully fought and nearly wiped out by authorities. Critics of the nanosubstance Blue claim that despite it lacking CPUs, it is a form of intelligent neural network warranted to be included in the Third Decree. Defenders of Blue tend to cite the Fourth Amendment, where transhumanism efforts in the form of human augmentation are declared legal. However, the Fourth Amendment was written before the discovery of Blue, when primitive mechanical and cybernetic implants were the only options for human augmentation. A regeneration pod. No idea what this is. Must have been some kind of local thing. I remember reading about some military experiment gone haywire in these parts. Maybe this is it. I'm pretty sure these were flown autonomously and that some famous world leader got killed by hackers who took control of her vehicle. A terrorist group claimed responsibility and there was a bloody civil war. I'm pretty sure Looks like this is modeled from how the world looked pre-collapse. There's no crack caused by the Hyperloop failure, and the crater field is nowhere to be seen. Wow, this thing must have been fearsome back in the day. One last waiting room before the final embrace with the earth. I think that's for collecting the ashes. Appears to be a small crematory. I suppose that's where the doctor writes down his autopsy reports. I don't have any business in... Looks like an... There's that red light again. Something must be wrong. The tank is nearly out of nutrients. I don't have a re- Not sure.
I don't have any... I don't have any... Looks still and serene. Great view from up here. Old Norse runes. The human wave was a loose affiliation of political post-collapse. The movement continued its activities to some extent up to 4AR, but gradually lost its ability to maintain any larger operations due to the extensive deglobalization. Over time, the subgroups of the human wave splintered back into their original factions. Others, like the Church of Epos, Earth Preservation Orthodox Society, were formed to find a new place in a post-collapse world. Impressive lab. There's got to be a whole bunch of third-degree infractions in this place. Maya must have conducted her secret illegal experiments here. Good. I think this is what I need for the wound tank. Hmm. Feels empty. An electronic headset of some kind. Herbal tea. Maybe from Maya's garden upstairs. Hmm. This computer must require some kind of hardware key. That action doesn't seem... A wall filled with machines. A few different machines for working with audio. Looks like I can play audio tapes here. A big bucket filled with some kind of tubes. Dirty laundry, presumably Maya's. This place was set up to be private. Makes sense, given the circumstances. Various tools for electronics and mechanical work. There were a couple of tapes here. It smells awful. This must have been here since Maya was killed. Equations of some kind. Various technical drawings. Some of them look similar to the womb tank. In a dream, I was summoned by the Acer. I had been chosen to create a new god, and her name was Holdra. She would be conjured in my mind, and the creed, at long last, would become manifest. I awoke in tears, and this vision has stuck with me ever since. This woman doesn't sound very sane. An AI 
my superintelligence would essentially be indistinguishable from a god. Infinite intelligence leads to infinite knowledge, and by extension, infinite power, illness, suffering. Even death itself could be turned into obsolete concepts. And what is a god, if not one who has reign over life and death? Yeah, those are conduit ideas, all right. All right, all filled up. Red light gone. Must have done the trick. Looks like things are working out okay for you in there. Little, uh, munchkin? Ha! <laughs> munchkin? Oh, shut up. Makes you think, doesn't it? Seeing a baby like this? Yeah. It reminds me of everything that happened... before. Same here. But you know, it's not too late. It is for you, Alex. It is? Well, yeah. You're dead. I am, but... you're not. You still have time to make up for what we lost. I was never mother material, Alex. I just tried to play the part because you needed it so badly. I think part of me knew and didn't care. I'm sorry I pushed you too hard. That's okay. It doesn't really matter now. I guess not. <sighs> Painful memories. I should resume my search for Katarina. I'm get how much death has befallen us. I read that in a book once. <laughs> a fitting quote, considering the circumstances. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there, can I be of assistance? So, it looks like Leonard's accident was a murder after all. Seems so, yeah. We have to catch this psycho before he strikes again. Agreed. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? I don't know about Katarina, but Melinda? That's the name of the school teacher, I think. Are you absolutely sure? Positive. As far as I know, she's the only Melinda in Nordsend. That's excellent news. If you see her, take her into custody immediately. And let your colleagues know to be on the lookout, too. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm off. Good luck out there.
Looks like a few kids left some of their clothes here. I don't need to rummage through that. Looks disconnected. Pictures of teachers and staff decorate the wall. Some are from way back when the school was founded. No names anywhere, though. There are a number of women here who could be Katarina, but it's hard to be sure without something specific to go on. Nothing out of the ordinary. Various books and office supplies. I don't need to rummage. Th I think the children grew these themselves. Drawings of different plants and trees, with close ups of their nuts, leaves, and seeds. Empty. Okay, let's see if I can find any similarities between any of these women and the picture I have. Oh, right here. Same brass necklace. This has got to be her. All right, I took the picture. A photo of Katarina. Do you recognize this woman? Sure, that's Melinda. She's, uh... She's what? She's just kind of cute, is all. <laughs> Commissary? Yes? Do you recognize this woman? That's the young teacher, isn't it? Yes, I found the picture in the school. I see. I don't know much else about her. Hi there, Walter. Morning, miss. Yeah, have a nice night's sleep? Well, I sure didn't. This numb nut forgot to unplug me, so I had to listen to his snoring for nine hours. I protest, Nissa. I hardly ever sleep for more than seven. Oh, well, that makes it much less like torture. <laughs> I slept okay. Glad to hear it. Do you know where I can find the school teacher, Melinda? I'm not sure who that is. Here, I found a good photo. Oh, her. I sometimes spot her off the beaten path, actually. You do? Where? By the junk heap. Dunno what business she's got there, but I notice her sometimes when I collect parts. She thinks nobody sees her, all sneaky and quick. But I've got keen eyes. Perfect. Did you know Leonard Dahl? A little. Yeah? Anything out of the ordinary about him? I wouldn't say so. I'm off. Take care. Bye-bye, police lady. Looks like he's holding some kind of map. Hey, you want to go do something? I'm tired. Let's just... Hey, kids. Uh, hey. Theo, that's the lady that Miss M... Shut up, Alicia. Now, wait a minute. Alicia, is it? You know Miss M? I, uh... Of course we do, ma'am. We're kids. She's our teacher. Yeah, we just know her from school and stuff. Right. So you haven't seen Miss M around today, have you? Uh-uh. Nope. Hmm. Well, I have a few questions for you. So, Katarina is your teacher, right? Nuh-uh. Our teacher's name is Melinda, but she prefers Miss M. You know, I need to find Miss M really badly. Do you know where she would go if she was ever in trouble? I... don't know. We have no idea. I think you know more. Now would be the time to tell me, before you get into trouble. There's nothing to say, lady. But Theo... Alicia, chill. 
We haven't done anything wrong. I guess. Do you know Leonard Thal? Who? He was... Never mind. So, did you guys ever hang out with Maya Strand? Hang out? No way. She didn't really like kids. She liked me, sort of. But this one time, she got real angry with Alicia. Oh, yeah? Why? I just wanted to try all her stupid stuff. Alicia was, like, running around and pressing all the buttons. And Maya totally freaked out. That sucked. I was just messing around, and she started yelling at me. Yeah, Maya used to be fun. Now she only talks to herself, like a crazy lady. Not anymore. She's dead, Allie. OK, whatever. Do you guys know Walter? Yeah, he's the best. Nisa is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, and then Nisa said it looked like an old carpet had made some poo-poo. He's so funny. I doubt these kids know anything about that. That's all I need, kids. Okay, bye. See ya.